Hi guys, since the previous video was a sort of a throwback video and I had worn a wig in it and then I had demoed the Patsy in Java Shimmer and and I knew I was going to shoot another video because I'm going on vacation and I wanted to get two in the can, so to speak, so that I can have them automatically upload while I'm gone. So in my previous video, I wore my really cool 80s jacket that I absolutely love, love, love. And I wore my long wig. And then I showed you my short Patsy wig. I thought I would show you this one. This is a wig that was sent to me free from UniWigs as well, and I've already done a review on this, but this is Almond Frost. This is more my color. Doesn't it look pretty natural? So for those of you that are going to say you should cut your hair again, I want you to understand that this is a wig that is a lot fuller. Oh, I think I still have I still have lipstick, lip gloss on my hands from my uh, other video. But this is a wig that is a lot fuller than my own hair. But I think it's awesome. I really like it. I, I always liked this style. I like the punky look. And um, I just thought, hey, you know, I'd, I'd wear it in this video. So this is a requested video. I had updated my nighttime skincare routine a little bit ago and I was really hesitant about my my daytime skincare routine because I don't have a whole lot of changes I really I really don't so the bulk of what I do at night and I wake up in the morning you know I just usually gently wash and here's what I use most of the time CeraVe hydrating facial cleanser this, I would probably say, is about 99% of the time what I use on my face when I'm washing my face. Now in the morning, I'm just going to do a gentle. I kind of wet my, my face with a face cloth. I go over with the CeraVe. My face is super, super wet, just enough so that I can run it through. I rinse it off. Immediately what I do is I take, this is the Studio 35 alpha hydroxy face cream now I am only sharing with you what I do I am NOT a skincare expert I am NOT you know I'm just a 64 year old lady going through this journey trying to share what is working for me and I know what's working for me because uh, I torture myself every morning and every night and I look at my skin in a 10 or 15 times magnified lighted mirror. If you've never looked at your skin under those conditions, you really should. It might be an awakening for you. I monitor my skin very, very closely. I truly, truly have seen a huge difference in my skin since I started my Retin-A, since I started my skin journey in 2016. I'm coming up on my two year anniversary of Retin-A and I'm preparing that video with before and after and all the horror stories in between. So that's gonna be coming out, but not till much later in the month. So I'm really excited about that. So here's what I do. I don't wanna get off track. After I wash my skin, I take this Alfie Hydroxy face cream. I smear it literally I'm not going to put it on but literally like this and I put it all over my my face now I don't go into my eye area I go into my jowls I go on my forehead my cheek and I just rub it in sometimes you can still see the white cast that's okay that doesn't bother me at all to do that that way I just want to wipe that off anyways so I I very gently massage that into my skin and like I said I don't care if I have white cast on my skin or anything of that nature when I am done doing that I go and I start my breakfast routine I get up super early I leave that on my skin depending on how early I got up if I got up at 530 that's going to sit on my skin for an hour if I got up at 5 same thing but if it's like if I get up at 6 it might only sit for you know half hour or 45 minutes so it all depends what time I get up I let it dry I have a cup of coffee I do my routine you know my my breakfast drink etc I do my morning routine 
and I start to do my eyes because I always do my eyes in the morning it, mascara in the living room my primer and my eyelashes I put that on before anything else so then this cream has dried on it maybe has sat on my skin for an hour I then go and I either take this is a little dirty but this is just a real gentle gentle cheapy 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 exfoliating type of glove I wet it and I just go gently around in my problem areas where I know I'm having flakies and all that stuff and sometimes just I can do it with my fingers and I can just feel it and see it in my fingers I can see my skin lifting I rinse that off I don't use another soap I don't you know go heavy I just rinse it off with my face cloth wash it <coughs> and then I immediately go into the kitchen in the kitchen I have a couple of serums and the first thing that I take out of my refrigerator is going to be and I've been using this I don't know since mid 2016 this is the timeless 20 percent C plus C plus ferulic acid and I keep this in my refrigerator I also keep a when I initially get it before I open it I put it in the freezer so I normally take some out of the freezer pour some in this bottle keep it in the refrigerator I take this and I very generous drops and I go all over my face and I pat it in I take my jade roller my jade roller is kept in my refrigerator and this baby wakes me up and I will take it out I've got my vitamin C on and I'm gonna roll up and up and I'm gonna roll my neck <coughs> I'm gonna do my forehead my 11s I'm gonna just go all over the place with this roller I take my time after I've done that, I usually use, because I'm still trying to empty out, my Matrixel Sync 6, and I also have my, uh, basically my, my Q10 serum. So I usually use one of these, not both of these. So I'm trying to empty out my Matrixel, and I end up putting very, very liberal drops. Do the same thing, I pat, 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 I pat, pat, pat. I forgot to tell you, everything I put on my face, I put on the tops of my hands or are these the back of your hands I put them on my hands then I take my jade roller and I do the whole thing all over again up down over and over down my neck all of that stuff sometimes I even do it on my hands I love this jade roller I then rinse my jade roller stick it back in the refrigerator close up my serums put those back in the refrigerator and what I've been doing lately is I've been taking out and I've kept this this is I said on Instagram the other day that I fell back in love with the product I used to use and stopped using. So I take out my caffeine solution from The Ordinary. I take a drop of this on each bag of my eyes. I haven't been sleeping. I've had, I never used to have trouble sleeping, but I have had the most horrible, horrible time sleeping lately. And I find myself awake. Um, you know last night I slept a couple of hours so you know anyway so I take the the caffeine solution again I'm not an expert it's just what I'm doing I take this back out of the refrigerator and I take the smaller edge of it and I very gently very gently go over my bag I don't want to pull it I don't want to stretch it I just very gently and I do it on both back and forth, back and forth, then go back, back and forth, up and down, up and down. I do it on both, I go up into, you know, wherever that caffeine solution is. Now I, I rinsed this off after I used it because I had applied my vitamin C with it and my Matrixel and I just wanted to just stick to the caffeine solution here so I wanted to make sure it was clean. That's what I do. I take my time with the Jade Roller. To me this is magic. Um, I don't know why I held out buying it guys this this is so reasonable and so affordable and I think you can even find jade rollers although I haven't seen them like in TJ Maxx this one I got off of Amazon I love 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 my jade roller it wakes me up it makes my serums go in it does wonders for my bag so I can be standing there in the morning and I get these big honking bags because I haven't slept and like about a half hour later I'm looking in the thing in the mirror and my bags don't look as bad they've, they've not disappeared but they've gone way down so once I've done all that I typically will go back in the bathroom 
and I'll take my hyaluronic acid, I put that on. Now I'm doing this in steps. So, you know, between the first serums and before I do my hyaluronic acid, I probably went and had a couple of more sips of coffee. I put my hyaluronic acid on all over the place. Sometimes I will go over with the buffet, but not always. But after my hyaluronic acid dries, lately I've been using the carrot seed oil and I am really enjoying the carrot seed oil. It is a heavy oil. It does not disappear into my skin. It doesn't sink in as quickly as my squalene does or my marula oil. It's a heavier oil. I can feel it. I put it all over. It really helps with those dry patches and I let that sit in my skin. My next step is usually my Olay eyes. I will take my Olay eyes. I have been testing one in each. Now I'm just using this up and I will take this and I, I put this right over the deep crevices where my wrinkles are and I let it pat it in into, into the crow's feet on the side. But I have on my driver's side, I have like one, I mean I have many mega lines, but I've got one ugly deep one. So I concentrate on that on this side and you know, on the other. So I see a difference since I've been using this since February 14th. I see a difference in my eye wrinkles. They're still there. They are definitely still there, but they have softened. They have softened. They haven't gone away. They have softened for sure. So I am liking this. And then sometimes I top it all off with my eye cream. I love this. This is my all time. This is my timeless eye cream. This is my all time favorite eye cream. After that, I let it all dry. I do stuff, I'm whatever. It could be another half hour, it could be an hour. And I always put my sunblock on. Whatever sunblock is on, I'm putting it on. And if I'm using a primer, I'm using a primer. And then I will do my foundation. Now, I've already got my mascara on. I, um, I do my eyeshadow, whatever eyeshadow I'm wearing for the day. This I just put on this morning. No touch-ups, this is actually my palette of choice. This went to Canada with me. This has gone all over the place with me. This is the Afterglow palette. This was actually sent to me from the Octoly network from the company itself. It's really dirty. It's well used. I just seem to really gravitate to this palette 99% of the time. You know, it's, it's, for me, it's like a really easy daytime look, I think. So anyways, um, I don't know if I've forgotten anything in my in my daytime routine, but you know I'm I'm I don't I don't do a lot of switches on it. I am a tried and true girl. If something seems to be working, I don't I don't have to chase the latest and greatest big item. I was intrigued when I started to see the reviews on the Olay. I really was, and I I wanted to try it. So I was very very fortunate that I had a very close friend, Gail, Random Life Production who ended up sending me a European version so I could test the two. And um, the European version, I think, works better than the US version to the point where I have two other tubes of this European version. So I'm pretty happy with that. So that's my, um, that's my daytime routine, you know, in a nutshell. And um, this wig, I will link the information on this wig. I did have a coupon code. I don't think it's active anymore, but I will, um, you know, obviously if you go to the Uni Wigs website, you can see, but this is pretty well what Patsy, and I still have her out because I just done that other video. I just changed my top. <laughs> this is actually a beach cover up. I love the sleeves. Can you see the sleeves? Aren't those sexy? I love the sleeves. And it's got, oh, I should, Ah, oh, man, it's got like little ruffles on the bottom too, you know, they were really, just really cute little ruffles on the bottom, sort of like this type of um, stuff. But anyways, this was the other wig, and this is the exact same wig, just a different color. And um, yeah, I think it's kind of fun, I think, looking at wigs. What do you think? What do you think? This one was always my favorite. So that's it for me, guys. That's my morning routine. Please, please, please look for my two-year update on Retin-A. I'm super excited about it. Super, super excited about it. 
If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Please thumbs up the video. Please ring that little bell. I know you've probably heard it over and over and over again, but YouTube keeps changing. And unless you do that, you might, you might miss one of my wonderful uploads. <laughs> no, it sounds so conceited. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'll do my best to respond to all your comments. I am away. This is going live while I am still away. So um, I might be delayed in the comments. But thank you all so much for all your support. Talk to you later, guys. Bye-bye.